up, Vince? Hello. How are you? Good. 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 See Good. You. Wait, are you handshaking now? <laughs> yes. Well. All right. Know. That's so uh, formal. Today we're at 2222 West Ohio in Ukrainian Village. We're looking at a two-unit building. All is right. Is this the beauty here? This is it. Well, I wouldn't use that word. The Ukrainian Village is mainly single families. It's uh, people who lived in Wicker Park or the West Loop and were kind of priced out. The Ukrainian Village was recently voted as one of the hottest neighborhoods in the country. All the houses on this street, um, there's actually mixed. Single family, rentals, apartment buildings, two flats. But all the new construction I'm seeing is like, it's pretty contemporary, you know? And they're all kind of cookie cutter. Location wise, it's perfect. Um, but everything else, crap. They got this for 500. And there's really nothing that I see on this facade that is original. This overhang is rotting away. That stands out because it looks like they filled it. And it's, it's, it's bulging? It's, it's bulging not, for it's sure. Not, nothing not good a good way. It. It and me, it's cracking. This, the crack up there yeah. makes me nervous. Somebody ripped out all the beauty. Kind of the worst one on the block. So it can't go anywhere but up. New construction, you could sell comfortably ask 1.4. What do you, do you know what this one went for? One, one. One one. One one rehab. It's not as also as big as what you could do. Much as that's a rehab. This would be, this would be brand possibly new a new construction. Let's look inside though. I don't want right. to like say this is going to be new construction yet, but let's see. Okay. I mean, huh. not bad, not good. Cute and homey. It is like cute. Neighborhoody. It is. It's nice because the house gets a lot of southern exposure. There's nothing blocking the sun, and it's going to be bright and sunny. This would all just open up and be a single family. I mean, there's nothing that I love in here. Look at this, just smashed. They just smashed uh, the kitchen in here. This is builder this is standard. The the floor sucks. I mean, this it's is like, like the, what they put in all the time. The cheapest of the cheap. Right. Yeah, there's nothing in there. That first unit is just, it's not even blank canvas. It's just seeming more and more likely that new construction is the way to go here. Walking upstairs is where I get the real feel of how wide this is. Ah, like this is this is where you feel it, you know? This yeah, is where you feel, feel that width. width. Here, yeah. Because now you get to go wall to wall. Yeah. But imagine it's gonna be essentially, this is gonna be the wall right here. So you're Which using- is still big. Still plenty, still plenty wide. I mean, again, nothing, nothing like here. What is this? Is this, it's like, is it old? Is it new? <laughs> it, it doesn't look nice. It's not even anything, like what's yeah. it? I don't know if anything's behind there. Maybe there's something behind that fireplace, like that just blank fireplace wall is cool. I, I don't know. But other than that, there's nothing in here that I like. The problem is the original house was built on a slab, no basement. So you're just not gonna get a top dollar price unless you build a basement. New construction is generally 16, 17% more than if we kept the old house. Four bedrooms. Yeah, three up here. Your least favorite kid can be back here so he can look at that. There you go. One yeah. bedroom in the basement. Yep. Total square footage. Between 38 and 41. And the fact that the school is right, right across here. the street. Yeah. And, and new construction the way I'm gonna do it. So. But I like to give you conservative numbers. Yeah. One four is conservative. I love one four. So here's my design layout for 2222 Ohio. We're gonna be knocking down this two flat in Ukrainian village and we're gonna build a brand new construction, single family home and add a full basement with high ceilings. More square footage means a higher asking price. I'm gonna reimagine the entire facade and do something totally different. We're gonna have a mix of siding and brick. We're gonna do a black and white theme and then we're gonna have this beautiful bay window overlooking the playground across the street. Inside, there are six bedrooms and four and a half baths. Four bedrooms are upstairs with the main suite at the back, and then two bedrooms down in the basement. The main suite is going to feature an antique British colonial corner cabinet. And in the kitchen, Ari's going to add some custom shelving. We originally purchased the house for 500,000, but with all of the delays from the last couple of years, we ran into massive issues. We could not keep the loan with the bank we originally had it with, so we had to find a new bank, and then I had to get my investor involved in securing the loan. And during all that time, the property just sat, and I was paying interest, and with all the stop work orders and the legal issues, it just was a nightmare. So now my investor is in on this for over $700,000. And with an expected sales price of 1.4 million, that means we need to keep the budget under 690,000 just to avoid a loss. 
This project is now just about doing everything we can to avoid a major loss for my investor. Finally, we're able to demo, but all these delays are just eating away at my budget and the money I'm hoping to return to my investor. After all the delays, it's so great to see the foundation getting poured. I am so excited to finally move forward on this property. Because of all the delays, we had to hit the ground running these past four months. So framing's gone up, electrical is in, and all the plumbing reference have been installed. As the weather gets colder and colder, the crews are just making sure that the last remaining windows get installed. This is where my happiness is. This is really where I should come when I feel stressed. I mean, come on. Look at these. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at you. Super ornate, really pretty, and just different. Kind of art deco. Hello? Hey, remember there is that mantle that I was gonna go look for? Mantle. Can you check your um, phone? I sent it to you, so you already just got it. Yeah, the one that's missing the bottom pieces, yeah. Yes, super art deco, right? Yeah, it's cool. What do you think about this one? I mean, so it's obviously gonna need the bottom built out, right? Yeah. And I would just do like a big solid box on that. You know, cool decorative. Uh, do you think you could work with this one? I mean, you always Oh yeah, can. for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, that one's awesome, get that one. Yeah. I'm gonna buy this now. I'll bring it up to the farm next week, okay. and we can work on it. Okay. All right, love you, bye. All right, bye, love you, bye. Progress is finally moving on the house, and I feel like it's a good time to walk through with Ari to figure out what his projects are gonna be. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi. Cool house again. Cool house, cool yeah. stuff. Yeah, nice and bright in here. I mean, it's big, right? I love it. It feels big. This is your favorite house yet. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorites, they're all my favorites. I wanna walk Ari through, he has not been in this house, but now that we're drywalled, it's time for him to kind of take those measurements and get working. The mantle is super old, yeah. super cool. I gotta rebuild the bottom part of it a little bit, right? Yeah, the surround is super cool. It's unlike any other mantle I've ever purchased. It's gonna be arched. Okay. All right, and the arch is just gonna be, because obviously the mantle's arched, mm -hmm. but then like the tile around it. It's gonna be cool. It's just different. The mantle needs some help, needs some love. Cause I think if I just slap that up there, it's not enough. I really want this to feel like it's all one unit. So these will go all the way to the top. Yeah, all right, so this will go to the ceiling? Yep. Okay. That way it creates an arch, but keeps the ceiling height. The coffee bar is awesome. It's such a focal point in this kitchen. And Ari and I found those really cool corvals and that really old arch. Cause you'd have to build a box like this in a box like this to get your side panels. We got those columns for the island that are all just patinaed and crackling and the color on them is really cool. So you always put a piece of wood here and here so you have like a little corner so it has like a little detail coming down, detail coming down, then you can put it on all four corners. So it's really cool to be able to wrap those cabinets in something totally custom. So I am out in Germantown visiting Ari and Nelson. It's a shop day and there's a lot to do for 2222 Ohio. It is gonna be hot today, by the yeah. way. I'm just really here, just trying to make sure that we're, we're building the fireplace mantle the right way and then some of those other pieces are just getting tight. This is just one piece and now we are, what are we gonna do? Every little spindle, yeah. every detail. That's what it's like, what are we doing? Spending a lot of labor. This is the most intricate mantle I've ever bought. The fact that we're taking an old piece from like 1920 and then adding to it on the top and the sides. We're never gonna get that same quality. So the stain will never take on the same way. Ugh. 
That wood is actually antique cypress. It's got super tight grain, probably 150 years old. So the winner is painting it. I, I try to stain stuff, guys. You wonder why I paint it all black. Yeah, that's a great color. It's very it's neutral. It goes with everything. So there's a lot going on in Ohio today. Tiles going up. And Ari and Nelson are working on the antique island corners and the kitchen hood. All right, that's good. I okay. love it. <laughs> I mean, it's gorgeous. To get it up, to get it in, to see it. Like, these are the moments. I love it too because it's got a little bit of the sheen of the, the tiles, the backsplash yeah. tiles. Now that it's up, the brushed effect of the metal is like almost perfect and spot on with the tiles for the backsplash. And then you just have this beautiful thin little strip of brass. And it's just like, it was meant to be. All right, let's wrap this All up, right, Nelson. Guys. See you later. So the movers have come, they've dropped off all the kind of big pieces. What's left? Artwork, accessories, pillows. We're in the beginning of the fall market. We don't have time to waste. This is, this is go time. Vince is coming by today and I wanna make sure everything's perfect so we can figure out what the right asking price is. Here she is. Oh, uh, yes. It looks great. And I just like, I don't know if I've ever seen that, that white with the black windows popping out like that. It looks- It's cool. It gives it that contrast that yeah. I really wanted. Yeah, it definitely pops. Yeah. The white really pops. Yeah. And I think it's gonna kind of age well too, especially with that like limestone ledge to kind of separate it. Yeah. And then I love the fact that we've got this pop out main level window. Uh -huh. I like a big picture window. Obviously this is just like a different take on it. And then my little accent of brass with the two sconces that I love. Absolutely, gotta have brass yeah. somewhere. Wow. What? Feels big, right? What a difference this is. This is big space compared to a lot of the homes. And obviously the window, beautiful, bringing in all that natural light and no house is obstructing. But this is just such a cool area, kind of yeah. more casual sitting area. Yeah. So the Hampton Pewter color I brought back in with the island. And this island is one of a kind. Not Absolutely, just one of yeah. a kind in general, but it's like, we've not done this before. With those rounded edges, you still have all the seating. So you have two opportunities in this kitchen to have informal dining. Yeah. It does look like a million bucks, but the Malibu white, I think works beautifully for the perimeter. This is very Polina. Yeah. The Corvals. This is very Allison. I, <laughs> I mean, people are gonna see it and go, did Allison do this? Yeah, I uh, hope so. Yeah, That's it's kind great. Of cool. It's kind of your shtick. As a realtor, I see a lot of houses. I see a lot of white kitchens. They start to all look the same, but this one is completely different. When you have the white front appliances with the brass handles and the brass knobs, and then that custom hood over the range is fantastic. This is kind of something that is becoming your signature as well, like a custom hood. And hoods are the focal point of a lot of kitchens, especially when you have one like this. It's great. This was the original surround, so from here down. And then Ari built these up because it was kind oh. of like dainty and it didn't make sense. Okay. But look at just all the little I details. Know. You can put little candles in here. It's like a bell house almost. It is. <laughs> it's so tiny. So now you believe me. We got a cloudy day today. Yeah. And it's still so bright. Tons of light. So much natural light.